Now today we are in a marine sequence. Why we call it a marine sequence now? Why we call it these rocks as a marine sequence? Marine sequence means they were deposited in a marine environment. Now how we conclude that these rocks were different and they are deposited in marine environment? You are finding these in the Himalayas. So, a simple test. Just try to see. If we are able to find some marine fossils or marine organisms which were existent at the time of deposition of these sediments, then definitely the environment in which these rocks were deposited was marine. Now you see this one. Will you call it a marine? This is a shell now. The rocks are very fragile. You can see the entire striations here. So this is it, you know, complete shell here. Now if you try to break it, the entire thing may break, so I keep it here only. So this is how marine fossils are formed and preserved. And if we find these in the rocks, then the entire sequence becomes marine. So if you're finding this in the, <coughs> in the Himalayas, that, that point of time, the Himalayas were marine sequence and if we are able to date them properly then these marine sequence will tell us the time time when Himalayas were not born so this is quite interesting and a simple explanation to show the timing of upliftment and evolution of Himalayas <laughs>